Hello everyone, this is Renee Liao here. Uh, again, I want to do another quick video just in regards to uh, what is the fountain of life. Um, the last time I did a video was close to about more than a year ago. A lot has, of course, evolved since then and we learned a lot more information on the fountain of life. So today, we're going to quick video again on what is fountain of life. So fountain of life is part of the safe home revolution, which a company wants to protect your family by removing the harmful ingredients from the products that we use on a daily basis. So focusing on the fountain of life, though, one question that I always do get is, you know, Renee, um, why do we get sick in the first place? And it all comes down to just what's called free radicals. So really quickly, uh, the oxygen that we breathe in has what's called a, a byproduct, which is called uh, oxidative stress. So you can see here, normal apple, if you leave it on the table for a period of time, of course, the inside of the apple will start to turn brown. And that process is called oxidation. And what happens is, is that um, it all comes down to free radicals, because the free radicals are basically unpaired uh, electrons in the molecules of our body. And it's a big sort of a chain effect because once you have a molecule with a missing electron, it goes around scavenging uh, your body for other electrons to pair it off. And so it creates a huge uh, sort of a bad process um, within your body. And so over time, you know, of course, the same way that the apple uh, becomes like this, of course, you have a healthy cell over time becomes into a sick cell and becomes into a, a disease state. So there's a lot of uh, side effects, of course, that have been uh, known with free radicals. If you go and just Google free radicals um, and oxidation, you will see exactly what I'm talking about here. But most people do understand what free radicals are because they're literally everywhere. Uh, in fact, uh, especially with nowadays with the COVID virus in town, and uh, you know, one concern is not just the virus itself, but of course, all of the additional stresses, anxiety that's linked towards it, people you know, being either unemployed, being laid off, um, all of these things here actually do create free radicals. So, uh, but the common ones like cigarette smoke, drugs, antibiotics, of course, stress right now, uh, processed foods, and that's just not, the, not just the McDonald's or Burger Kings, it's also things like you know, processed meats, right? Uh, hot dogs, bacon, sausages, of course, pollution is a big one, uh, the radiation, uh, wireless waves, and of course, now with the 5G rolling out, there's a huge, huge uh, concern with, again, uh, the free radicals and the damaging effects that that might cause on the human body, household chemicals, you know, alcohol, mold, and excessive exercise, and of course, you know, general viruses and bacteria. I mean, we live in a world filled with them. But our body typically has an ability to you know handle uh, quite a large amount of free radicals but again you have what's called oxidative stress when there's an imbalance between free radicals and antioxidants in your body and so the key is to get enough antioxidants to again, try to balance the free radicals that are coming at us on a daily basis so two main common sources of antioxidants uh, one is of course the artificial sources these are vitamins um, that you can, of course, buy in your uh, different uh, grocery stores and pharmacies. Um, unfortunately, they are synthetic, and whatever is synthetic, your body typically has a harder time to digest. Uh, they're also very slow to react in the body. They can be unstable to heat. Some can be toxic. So a lot of a, more of a better option uh, than the artificial source would be the natural sources. And again, when we're very young, our parents tell us, you know, hey, make sure you eat your fruits and vegetables, right? So because um, they're much more natural, they can uh, be absorbed a lot better than an artificial source. And the, the antioxidants that come from a fruit and vegetable, that science name is called lignans, okay? So unfortunately, with a lot of the fruits and vegetables, they're low in lignans, and of course, they go bad, and they're unstable to heat. So really, the solution that Auckland's Global uh, put behind Fountain of Life was to find the best lignin for your body. And because the ultimate choice for antioxidants really is lignans. They are the plant antioxidants. Again, you can see here they can protect the body from the free radicals and help fight against the oxidative stresses that can cause sicknesses. And the benefit though is if the lignin comes from a wood extract like it does with Fountain of Life, it's been proven to have antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory benefits as well too. And so the question that people always ask, well, Renee, how much lignin should I be getting on a daily basis? You can see here that the average intake of lignans in the U.S. is only about one milligram per day. The scientists recommend to have a minimum of like 50 to even 100 milligrams of lignans per day. And if you just think about on a daily basis, you know, even today watching this video, what did you eat today or yesterday? 
did you eat enough fresh fruits and vegetables? Because if you were, if you add heat or you cook those those things, you actually kill the lignans as well, right? And so it has to be fresh. So it's no surprise that most people don't quite get enough lignans on a daily basis. And so uh, question for you is, well, how much lignans do you actually eat? And here's a great example of some really common lignans that you can actually look at buying and getting for yourself. But again, it's not going to be a lot. So this measurement here is per 100 milliliters or milligram of content. It's like a one-to-one -one ratio. So again, with green tea, if you were to have 100 milliliters of green tea, you're getting about 0 0.039 milligrams of lignans. So again, it's very, very little. And don't forget, you want to have at least that 50 to 100 milligrams of lignans per day, right? So again, olive oil, strawberry is pretty good. Bro you know, a broccoli has about 1.321 milligrams per 100 milligrams of broccoli. Uh, kale has a bit more. Uh, sesame seed has about 39, pretty good. But before Fountain of Life, uh, the reigning source of lignans would have had to be the flaxseed. The flaxseed was like number one. It's just uncomparable. You know, comparing flaxseed to, you know, even, even broccoli, you're getting 301 milligrams of lignans for the same amount of content that you're eating when you're eating broccoli only has 1.321. So it's like 300 times more lignans than of course the broccoli. But comparing Fountain of Life though, to of course the broccoli, Fountain of Life has 17 times more lignans than the flaxseed. So when comparing the two lignans, there's about 300 milligrams of lignans for every 100 milliliters of flaxseed, all right? Compared to the Fountain of Life, it contains the same amount of content, contains 5,166 milligrams of lignans. So it's the most powerful lignin and most natural lignin you can get in the whole entire world. And so another uh, quick example is, you know, uh, in terms of how much you should be getting, when you get the bottle of Fountain of Life, one full dropper of Fountain of Light, if you were to squeeze that dropper full uh, right to the top, it's roughly about 40 drops and it has roughly 50 milligrams of lignans. So taking one full dropper, you know, uh, from Fountain of Life is equivalent as if you just had to, you know, basically take 308 cups of oatmeal. I mean, I think it's just physically impossible to have that much oatmeal. So again, Fountain of Life is really convenient because Unlike flax, is that you have to grind and you know put into a blender and take it every morning. It can be a bit bitter. Uh, I think in today's society, people are just so busy with their lives; they don't have time to do these things. So I love the fact that for my family, Fountain of Life is just very, very simple. It's easy, you know, and it, it, it's, it's literally readily available for your body whenever you want. One uh, FYI downseed to the flax seed is: if you take too much flax seed, because we're not like birds, uh, you will get some diarrhea. So you just can't take too much flax seed. So again, uh, for me. Fountain of Life is the most simplest solution. So uh, a common question is, well, where did Fountain of Life come from? And it came from a very special tree. Um, it's called the Norwegian spruce tree. Now, the story basically started back in Finland where the scientists, of course, you know, um, had his backyard full of these trees. And uh, long story short, he noticed that when the branches for whatever reason, perhaps the weight of the snow broke the branches off the trees, that the branches actually never died. Uh, so again, in, in Canada where I live, you know, of all the trees outside, even it's, it's, it's March, most trees don't have leaves on them. The only tree that remains almost unchanged from winter to summer and back and forth again is the spruce tree. You know, it looks exactly the same summer through winter. And what's really unique about this tree though is that you know even when the branches are broken off, it has the ability to self-heal itself and it just keeps on living. So these trees have literally been there for, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, well the oldest documented spruce tree is close to 10,000 years old, but in reality it's been there for probably millions of years now. And now one other common question that we do get is, well, you know, Renee, can't we, you know, uh, don't we have this tree in Canada? You know, and, and yes, we have a tree in Canada, but the amount of lignans in the tree in Canada is much less than the lignans in the trees in Northern Finland, which is where we source our extract from. Um, something about the very harsh climate, it's very cold there, that trees for evolution have learned to be able to live in such harsh climates. So the amount of lignans in the source that we get it from, the northern tip of Finland, is the best and most concentrated, the most amount of lignans, of course, of all the trees uh, in the world. 
And so um, one really key thing to understand though is if you have a tree you know, in your backyard, you can't just go and bite it or chew it or try to eat it or boil it. Um, the extract took uh, the scientists a long, long time to develop uh, the actual patents, 22 patents, and there's more being filed, uh, to find a way to extract this lignin from the tree into a format that we can actually consume. And the beauty with Hansen of Life is that you actually put it under your tongue and within like an hour time frame, it's gone into your bloodstream. So the key thing with a lot of the antioxidants that you're going to try to buy in the marketplace is, is does it get into your bloodstream? And typically it gets there through, you know, um, the small intestine uh, in your body. So the big intestine kind of breaks things up and the small intestines where it gets absorbed into the bloodstream. And it's very tough when it comes to pills and vitamins. So I love the fact that with Fountain of Life, literally we put it under your tongue in one hour, it's in the bloodstream. The rest that you actually swallow it uh, all the way down into your gut within 24 hours, again, it's into your bloodstream as well. So it's very, very effective. Um, so again, you know, the solution that uh, Opulence Global has provided in this product called the Fountain of Life uh, is a great quote. It's that if you just had to use one product to protect and preserve your well-being, it's the one, uh, Fountain of Life. So again, it's the extract from the Norwegian spruce that has, again, uh, the highest lignans in the world, plant antioxidants. And again, I would talk about this earlier, it grows in a very harsh environment, has adapted to defend against disease and pestilence. It's also a disease-free tree. And so again, it has a proprietary formulation with a rich source of properties. It's an antioxidant, it's antimicrobial, it's anti-inflammatory, and I can't wait to share with you guys some of the incredible research that I've found on the lignin that comes from Fountain of Life that's coming up next. But again, being a Canadian company, we had to make sure that we have the Health Canada approval. So every single bottle has the NPN number. NPN stands for the natural product number. You must have that. To be, you know, to be approved by Health Canada to sell legally. Um, and so every bottle does have our NPN number. And again, uh, we have 100% exclusive rights globally. You cannot buy this product anywhere else except through uh, Opulence Global. You can see here you know, all the badges of honors. It's like made in Canada, part of GMP, 100% natural, GMO free, alcohol free, gluten free, paraben free. So, and the beautiful thing is that you can also use it not just uh, orally and into your body, but you can also use it topically. Well, let's take a look at some of the key benefits, of course, with the Fountain of Life. So, number one, uh, it's an immune system booster, especially at a time like this with the coronavirus. Um, you know, it's something that the coronavirus, there's no cure, of course, it, it, you, know, you have to rely upon your immune system to fight the virus. Our body is built for that. So it can really boost your immune system. It's also anti-inflammatory, which means for things like body pains, arthritis, gout, uh, type 2 diabetes, any kind of chronic pain, migraines, you know, tooth pain, it's phenomenal at helping with those, uh, those anti-inflammations there. Because it can balance uh, male and female hormones, it's fantastic at protecting the prostate health, reducing the breast cancer risk, decreasing colon cancer risk. Um, there's a study on the next slide that shows how um, you know, it can actually help you lose some weight, but again, it's really great for protecting the heart health, improving the metabolism, which leads to weight loss, uh, studies on defending against dementia. I mean, all these things here we have studies for as well too. Um, controlling diabetes complications, especially type two diabetes, very, very effective for type two diabetes. Uh, improving hair health, because again, the balancing of the hormones, uh, antimicrobial and just overall DNA protection. So it's literally like one little bottle can do, can do many, many things for your health. So uh, here's a study I was talking about where it was done uh, by the British Journal of Nutrition. Uh, back in May of 2018, and it was a study on 7 hydroxymatricinol which is the actual lignin that you will find as the main ingredient um, the, 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 on the Fountain of Life bottle. So that is the ingredient that's in Fountain of Life, and over a, a two-month period. And just in summary, all the test subjects experienced a 13% decrease in body weight, 18% loss of visceral fat, which is overall body fat. Um, the liver showed lower fat deposits of 65%, while the bad cholesterol dropped 23%. So it's phenomenal how, again, this one product does so many things, including being able to lower your bad cholesterol, you know, lower the fat in your fatty liver, uh, you know, uh, lose some more weight and lose some more fat as well, too. 
And so again, uh, last but not least, we also mentioned before that Pelton of Life can be used topically. Literally, it's great for the skin because the skin, of course, is the largest organ in the body. It also requires antioxidants as well. So it's great to use it you know, directly on the scalp. Any kind of uh, wounds and cuts, if you put it on, it'll heal very, very quickly. Uh, for growing those nails and cuticles, um, adding it to your skincare line, it is phenomenal on sunburns. I just apply it two, three times or four, five times a day on the sunburns, and you don't actually get that peeling or painful uh, soreness to it. It's really quick at healing the skin. Uh, great at blemishes, uh, adding it to your shampoo. Some people do use it on their underarms as a deodorant because this is antimicrobial. It's phenomenal at gum inflammation. So when I take out of life, I put it under my tongue for about five seconds. And then I swirl the rest that doesn't go into the sublingually. I swirl the rest in my gums. It's great at things like gum disease and receding gums. And of course, uh, and I swallow the rest. Uh, fantastic at things like hemorrhoids. You can add it to your body wash. Any kind of a rash or, or irritation is phenomenal at stopping that itch as well too. Um, great for all, overall joint pains. Again, it's taken sublingually. And again, great for any kind of fungus, you know, athlete's foot or nail fungus as well too. So it's really just one product that I've, I've never seen that can be used not just orally from within, but also can be used actually topically, uh, you know, all over your body. So right now, I actually want to just um, uh, close this down here because, you know, me being a former, I guess, IT programmer, one thing that I always do is I like to do my research and really understand all the things behind it. So uh, one thing that I did here was one day I actually went on to um, you know uh, different uh, published medical journal studies on different government web uh, websites, and I actually typed in seven hydroxymaterisinol, and to see what kind of studies that were done already on this particular lignin. So this document here, I'm going to put the link in my YouTube video at the bottom in the comments, so you can actually get a reference to this document here and download it for yourself too. But I actually put together a list of all of the research I found on Fountain of Life. So um, it's incredible, starting from A. So you can see here for Alzheimer's disease, I found two reference articles. If you click on that, it actually will open up for you uh, an actual link to the website with the research study. And this one is on the US National Library of Medicine. Um, and of course, it talks about you know the lignans again in regards to uh, you know anti Alzheimer's disease. It's just phenomenal. Now you might not understand all of this science, like I don't fully get all of it either, but you can get the idea of how it's beneficial. Again, it's been studied again by scientists or research on on that area. So from Alzheimer's disease to ALS, you know anti cancer research, anti inflammatory, antioxidant anti-tumor, antiviral, apoptosis, bioavailability, which is you know, how much you can absorb into your body, uh, blood pressure, body weight, breast cancer, cancer therapy, um, heart disease, cholesterol, colon cancer, dementia, diabetes, encephalitis, glaucoma, I hate this word, uh, gynecological diseases, <laughs> I can't always pronounce it properly, um, hair growth, hormonal balance, pop flashes and menopause, Huntington's disease, inflammatory bowel disease, immune system. Another word here, lipophilicity. I think it's in terms of like, you know, be able to burn the fat in your body. Uh, metabolism, uh, metastasis, migraines, non-toxic, osteoporosis, Parkinson's disease, prostate, sexual function. Yes, uh, you heard that correctly. Uh, TMF, and of course, vitality. So, you know, it's amazing because I've never seen a product that has so much third party, you know, scientific published studies on it. And it's just amazing how there's so much in there. And I even include at the very bottom some more information on Fountain of Life, uh, some crazy studies. If you enjoy that kind of stuff, I put that at the very bottom as well too. And, you know, but if you're looking for actual testimonials, I do have another video that I'm going to attach as a link to this video of me going through some of the most, uh, some, some common, uh, uh, I guess, testimonials that we have from customers that have been using the Fountain of Life. So if you're not already seen this, please do go to the uh, Facebook page called Fountain of Life Official. And in here uh, is actually a page where um, the customers of Fountain of Life have put questions or their testimonials onto this page here. And so uh, the person who responds to these questions are actually the, the, the scientists in, in behind uh, the company. And so, you know, for example, if you want to find out if there's stories with 
Fountain of Life in regards to diabetes. You can go to the search box here, type in diabetes, and you'll see uh, just a collection of you know, different customers talking about how it's helped them lower their sugar levels, right? So there's probably now thousands of customer testimonials in here by now. Um, so these are the stories from the customers. And don't forget, I also have all of the research that kind of backs up why it's helping all these customers with this document over here too. So all in all, um, I will have another video coming uh, after this video you can actually watch that talks about just some of the uh, amazing testimonials that we've gotten so far. But aside from that, I hope that you have enjoyed uh, watching this quick video as a, as a quick introduction as to what is the Fountain of Life. Uh, my name is Renee Liao and thank you for watching. Take care.